It's the Cube, covering VMworld 2015. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem sponsors. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live in San Francisco for day one wrap up of VMworld 2015. This is SiliconANGLE Media's The Cube. This is our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE. I'm joined Dave Vellante with Wikibon.com. Um, we are looking at a day one, Dave, of, of a setup really for day two and three, which is going to be the big day. Tomorrow is a heavy hitter day. Tomorrow is the day that Elliott Capital's um, clock is expiring on the EMC Joe Tucci kind of peacekeeping kind of uh, agreement. We're going to hear what that's going to look like. We're going to also have Pat Gelsinger on tomorrow, Carl Eschenbach, Steve Herod, a bunch of VCs, Robin Matlock, the CMO of VMware. Huge lineup. Yeah, David uh, Flynn's going to, going to kick it off tomorrow. Uh, David Flynn, former Fusion IO, current CEO of Primary Data. Like you said, uh, Pat, Carl, Rodney, who gave a keynote today. Rodney Rogers is coming on. Jay Shree, Jay yeah. Shree Ulal, a rock star, uh, wrist is smoking hot. Uh, Brian Biles is coming on. Brian Biles is the founder of Data Domain, had a huge exit with EMC. He's back, it came out of, his company came out of stealth, so. So you have an ecosystem that's in flux. We have startups that are disrupting. We heard Mark Lewis from Formation Data. We're going to hear from Primary Data tomorrow. Again, and these are industry veterans. These aren't like, you know, guys that went to Y Combinator and decided to do a startup. These guys are like heavy hitter players. Seasoned. Seasoned executives and entrepreneurs in the enterprise space, the stakes are very high. Sanjay Poonin was on today, EVP from VMware announcing that tomorrow at 9 a.m. he's got a great keynote. Um, and then tomorrow at four o'clock in the Marriott Marquis, VM Women, which is going to be a women in the leadership, Cheryl Chamberlain and Paul Cook are going to be down there. Um, it's going to be really, really interesting to see all that stuff play out. Um, again, culture, diversity, DevOps and user computing. It's all happening, Dave, and I think we are seeing the first VM world where the stakes are very, very high. And I would call today the calm before the storm where VMware really didn't say much. And they announced some stuff, they put some press releases out there. Yeah, we got some momentum, but I think the game really starts tomorrow. What does Pat Gelsinger say? What's going to be on the keynote? What does VMware do? How do they position themselves to make some good calls to grow the market? And are they committed to the ecosystem? Are they committed to DevOps? Are they committed to this disruption in the enterprise? And again, storage is a big topic. What's your take? Well, the problem is you're going to hear yes, 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 yes to all of that. Of course, they're, they're committed. Um, you know, the, the question is, ha, which, I mean, they're fighting a lot of battles on a lot of fronts, as I've said before. So, and I think they, they can win in many of those battles. I think what they're doing in the enterprise, the way they're embracing, again, quote, unquote, embracing OpenStack, containers, Docker, et cetera, that's, that's all good. The, the, the blind spot, and we talked about this last year, continues to be the public cloud generally, and Amazon specifically. Amazon growing at 80% you know, last quarter, seven, eight billion dollars a year. They're bigger now than, than, than VMware, AWS is. They got way more momentum. How do you compete with that? Um, and they have a strategy, uh, but it's not working in my opinion. So they've got more work to do there. So their, their ace in the hole is that enterprises are nervous about going to the public cloud. They understand that renting is going to be more expensive than owning, even though Amazon will show you some IDC data that says it's not, but it is. <laughs> uh, so, so I think that, but that is something, that is a, a, a tiger that VMware really doesn't have by the tail yet. So that's something that I want to hear more about. I want to you know, hear Pat's response. So, you know, John, what are you, what are you hearing? You're out here in the valley. What are people saying about VMware? Well, I think what I'm hearing and what I reported earlier on theCUBE as kind of breaking news here in SiliconANGLE is that um, there's, a, there's a conflict within VMware. And I asked Sanjay Poon in the direct question, are you committed to DevOps? He said, absolutely we're committed to DevOps. I mean, I asked all the senior executives committed to DevOps. He said, absolutely we're committed to DevOps, among other things, which is code word for other things. So, <laughs> ultimately, I believe that VMware has to be committed to DevOps. They have a DevOps show Eric Nielsen put on. Certainly, they're putting the toe in the water on DevOps. I believe there's a fraction within VMware, okay, from my reporting on the streets and hearing the, the talk on the streets of San Francisco and the Valley is that there's a company, uh, groundswell of support within the trenches, tech community within VMware and the community for DevOps support. 
that the, that the senior executives, who are very sales driven, which is true, aren't fully embracing DevOps. Now that needs to be confirmed. We're going to have them on tomorrow. We'll ask a direct question. Uh, the other thing that I'm hearing is hybrid cloud is certainly... Oh, wait, wait. It's not that they're against DevOps, they just don't know how to monetize DevOps, right? Well, being committed to DevOps means you're all in, right? Not is IBM halfway. committed to DevOps? I believe IBM's committed to DevOps while preserving their other proprietary stuff like Watson and their databases, and they have some other things. I mean, but it's different. You can't say I'm committed to DevOps all in and not pay attention to your legacy businesses. That's like turning off the revenue spigot. You got to have the stuff out there. And then in, uh, by inference you're saying, I'm, I'm, I'm inferring that you're saying they're in conflict. If you're all in on DevOps, you're going to threaten your legacy business. Well, what do customers want, right? Customers are actually, and I highlighted with Mark Lewis presentation, our interview with him, developers are downloading stuff. They're actually getting dirty, down and dirty developing the next generation cloud native. Sure. So, <laughs> <laughs> you better be cloud native if you want to be, have cloud native apps, so that means DevOps. Now call it cloud ops, whatever you want to call it. Hybrid cloud is the key to all this. Hybrid cloud makes it all happen. Hybrid cloud is, is the outcome of successfully implementing on-prem and private cloud working together with public cloud. That's clearly the pattern coming out of all the answers we ask all the guests on theCUBE. So VMware's got to get behind that, not get behind the dogma of specific product lines that have some legacy. I understand legacy, you got to deal with that, but you can't let the dogma of legacy drive the reinvention of the next wave. Well, but hybrid cloud is this vision of I'm going to be able to have my on-premises infrastructure and my public cloud infrastructure, and I'm going to be able to impose the same security, compliance, governance edicts across that infrastructure and sort of this virtual nirvana. There's very few, if any, examples of that existing. Now, in order to see that through, I think you're going to have to have homogeneity. And the problem with homogeneity is the world isn't homogeneous. That's why Amazon says, screw the hybrid cloud, it's a false concept. In a way, they're right. Uh, but that's why VMware says, no, Amazon's wrong. We can achieve that hybrid cloud, certainly with vCloud Air, and I believe they can. The problem is vCloud Air doesn't have you know, any presence in the marketplace. So you've got the sassification of the application world, so you've got all these stovepipes of apps, you've got a mess in your application portfolio on premise, you got Amazon, you have Azure, you have a highly fragmented market, it's going to be very difficult to impose those corporate edicts across that cloud fragmentation. So where does that leave you? That leaves you with a lot of in pockets of innovation, good stuff going on that's driving revenue for organizations, and I think at the end of the day, that's what's going to win. IT's not going to win in cobbling together this vision of a hybrid cloud. I think it's a false hope, in my, in my opinion. Well, one of the things that came out of OpenStack Silicon Valley last week when we brought theCUBE there was a couple, couple interviews. One was with Craig McLucky from Google, and I asked him directly about the hybrid cloud, and one of the things that he came out in his answer was, it's still elusive, but the tooling needs to be, be consistent on both, in all environments. But one of the things he mentioned, Dave, was this notion of API-ification and if companies go too far on APIing everything, they end up putting themselves at a disservice because you can't just go out and disrupt that API. Not everything can be API, especially in legacy environments. So if you're a cloud native company, of course you're going to be API based. Everything's going to be synchronous, no problem. But that's really where customers now are sitting in, in, on the fence going, okay, what do I do? And the one thing I'm seeing here at VMworld is customers are looking around at other customers, hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? There's a lot of discovery going on in the customer mindset and directly and explicitly saying, hey, what are you doing? That means the market is real, that means it's still open and up for grabs, and I think that's an opportunity for whether you're a startup like uh, Formation Data, Primary Data, whatever startups out there and or the big guys, the pecking order of leaders will win. And I think Mark Lewis really nailed it when he said, commenting on our pre-VMworld analysis video was, there's really two inning, two games going on, a double header. Game one, won by Amazon, which is all cloud native. And then two, game two. Jump ball. Jump ball, rules are changed, Amazon isn't winning. So to that point, I do think, you know, I was kind of saying hybrid cloud is BS before, I do think hybrid cloud can exist, but it has to be built. It's not something that you're going to buy, it's not an off-the-shelf solution, it's going to require a lot of heavy lifting, potentially a lot of services, a lot of different technologies. I want to, I want to address the, the EMC, Elliott management, you know, VMware issue, you know, rumor today that Pat Gelsinger, I guess, I guess on CNBC he denied it. I, I heard two things, John, I don't know what the story is. I heard no comment, but I heard he also you know, said no, he's not interested, and the stock sort of re re rebounded a little bit. Here's my take. 
I think that a lot of these rumors are just signs that EMC is listening, they're open to trying different things, they're trying to placate the investors. But at the end of the day, I, I've been thinking about this a lot, John, I strongly believe that EMC believes in the Federation model, they think the Federation model is the way to go. I personally actually think there's some merit to that. And so I think that, that Tucci on his way out, his last act, his legacy is going to be to preserve that Federation and essentially Look, damn the investors, we'll, we'll keep doing stock buybacks, we'll keep doing dividends, but we are not going to deviate from our strategy. And that would be the ballsy thing, in my opinion, the right thing to do. I think if they capitulate to the markets, they're making a mistake. So I think the Federation is the right strategy. I think that Joe Tucci is under siege from Elliott Capital. I call Elliott Capital the, the Gordon Gecko corporate raider, and I think he's evil. Okay, I think it's evil to dismantle. Elliot is evil, Elliot, not, not Tucci. Elliot is evil, <laughs> Elliot is evil. I love Joe Tucci, you know, i love big, big fan of Joe Tucci. Um, Elliot Capital doesn't give a shit if people, thousands of people lose their jobs. EMC, granted they might be a, a lagger in some areas, they employ thousands and thousands of people and it's going to be decimated if they lose VMware in my mind. Also the interesting thing is how does Gelsinger and Tucci weigh in on all this? I think Gelsinger as CEO of the combined company is very interesting. I think Tucci's exit out, and obviously he's going to leave, that's been announced, it's been public information. So having Gelsinger be CEO also has some promise, so I kind of like that. I worry about the corporate raider mentality of Elliott Capital to just decimate EMC and throw him under the bus and throw Tucci under the bus. So I think, in my opinion, the best thing would be for Tucci to build a new federation model that's kind of an, a conglomerate of all of it put together and let VMware start flying out on its own. It's like launching a kid to college, which I just did this weekend. VMware needs to get out on their own. They need to develop their own identity and really, really develop their own. So again, I'm waffling on this, but I, wow. I just torn between yeah, the I whole. I think you are waffling, John. I'm, so you do, on the one hand, you said that <laughs> you, think, you think that uh, uh, they need to develop their own identity. The other hand, you're saying that you know, Tucci's federation is potentially the right way to go, so which is it? Well, I'm going to put I, you on the spot. I think VMware. Because I'm kind of waffling too. No, well I think <laughs> if Joe Tucci puts this Uber Federation model together around SLAs to customers and servicing customers, which I think I would do, you could see VMware being separate but yet still playing ball in kind of a transitional way and give, give Gelsinger the freedom to do whatever he wants. At the same time, I don't like, is I don't like this Elliott Capital hedge fund mentality of gun to the heads, I want an increased stock price. I think that's just mm -hmm. bad moral fiber in the sense that, hey, I don't give a shit about thousands of families that uh, are out there working. Now, you know, maybe I'm soft there, but you know, I think, yeah, maybe it's a forcing function to have EMC be more effective, and that kind of forces that. But I don't think EMC sitting around going, "Hey, let's kind of milk the market." I think EMC tries. No, really I hard. agree with that. And so I, I just don't. I just don't like Elliott Capital. So I don't think it's about the jobs, preserving jobs. I think it's about preserving value and long-term value. And I think you got to play this game to win. I think EMC are winners. They need to keep investing. You know, do what you have you have to do for stock buybacks and dividends and and keep investors happy. But I think they need to stay the course. And I think VMware does have its own identity. The one thing is. EMC has to let VMware go do its thing in storage and you know, go compete and, and win on your merits. Well Dave, I think we're going to have an exciting show. Today was great, we got a great set of content coming, great acquisition, two sets, real innovative awesome. cube this year with our anchor desk here, the ESPN of tech. And we also have a new innovation called the director set, expanding our footprint to get as much content and share that signal with you guys out there. And tomorrow we got Gelsinger, the big horses from VMware. We're going to ask them the tough questions. We're going to have them explain what's happening to you guys. So stay tuned for CUBE coverage. Of course, we'll be broadcasting the keynotes uh, as well, so there'll be no coverage during the keynotes. So stay tuned here on the CUBE. Join us tomorrow for continued coverage of the CUBE at VMworld 2015. Signing out day one, have a good night. <laughs>